स्टूडेंट्स आप पीसीएम की डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं हम लोग और हम लोगों ने देखा था कि द मेजर कंपोनेंट ऑफ अ पीसीएम सिस्टम इज द पीसीएम इनकोडा स्टूडेंट्स देर आर थ्री डिस्टिंग प्रोसेस दैट अ पीसीएम इनकोडा परफॉर्म्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द सैम्पलिंग सेकेंड वन इज क्वांटाइजेशन एंड देन वी हैव द इनकोडिंग स्टूडेंट्स सैम्पलिंग को हमने थोड़ा सा टच किया था वेन आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू द प्रोसेस ऑफ पीसीएम ऑन अ हाई लेवल विल गो इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड एंड विल टॉक अबाउट सैम्पलिंग इन डिटेल देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट सैम्पलिंग मैथड्स फॉर पीसीएम बिफोर वी डिस्कस ईच वन ऑफ देम यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द टी एस लेट मी राइट हेयर टी एस इज आर sampled interval or sample period so ts is basically in all these examples ts is basically the interval that we are going to span before we take each of the individual samples ab students three different techniques the first one is the ideal sampling तो स्टूडेंट्स इसमें देखिएगा कि इस आइडियल सैंपलिंग में द पल्सेस फ्रॉम द एनलॉग सिग्नल आर सैंपल्ड एट डिफरेंट इंटरवल्स द द टीएस और द सैंपल्ड इंटरवल इज टीएस एंड वी हैव गॉट मल्टीपल डिफरेंट सैंपल्स एट डिफरेंट एम्पलीट्यूड्स थ्रू आउट दिस एनालॉग सिग्नल स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज इट इज कॉल्ड आइडियल बिकॉज इट इज द दिस इज द आइडियल मेथड और टेक्निक ऑफ टेकिंग सैंपल्स एंड इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट in reality in real life to actually employ the hardware which can deploy your ideal sampling in most of the cases we have got natural sampling so in natural sampling students we have got a high speed switch which is turned on for a small period of time and what it does is it actually takes these samples once again at an interval of ts which is our sampling period or sampling interval shape of these samples as you can see they still resemble the analog signals we are just sampling it at multiple intervals with different amplitudes students so another common uh, method of sampling is called flat top sampling or it is also called sample and hold so once again this is deployed um, using a circuit and it creates flat top samples which are of the similar shape of the analog signal students maine aapko pehle bhi bataya tha ki this sampling process it's worth noting that this sampling process is also known as pulse amplitude modulation ab students humne kuch baat ki thi about the sampling period ki we represented the sampling period by uh, capital t with a small s sampling period students Uh, from our previous discussions you know that the inverse of period is frequency or vice versa the inverse of frequency is period so the inverse of sampling period the inverse of ts is sampling frequency or fs how frequently are we going to take these samples that is defined by the sampling frequency students so nyquist yeah i know you have heard the name before nyquist gave us a very good estimate a very good formula to come up with the sampling frequency for a analog signal students so nyquist told us that this sampling frequency should be at least twice the frequency of the signal the highest frequency of the signal so your fs should at least be equal to twice the fh where fh is your highest frequency of your analog signal ab students when you are sampling the sine wave um, you can actually sample it at different intervals with different frequencies the ideal is uh, a frequency which is twice the highest frequency but you can sample it with anything above or beyond or equal to this um, twice the highest frequency so let's we'll go to the slide and we'll study what happens when we sample an analog signal with different frequencies students so in our first image you can see that we are sampling at the nyquist rate 
the frequency of sampling is equal to fs is equal to 2f where f is the highest frequency of our analog signal so we are sampling it at twice that f and students as you can see the samples that we get are these we can see that um, we have we are able to reproduce our an estimate of the input analog signal by using um, this sampling frequency which is twice f now students let's look at the second case in the second case students we are sampling it with a frequency of fs is equal to 4f which is two times the nyquist rate so in this case we are sampling it uh, at twice the nyquist rate students in the third case we are sampling at a frequency of f so which is half the uh, nyquist rate so this is double the nyquist rate and then we have got half the nyquist rate students as you can see in this second case we can we have received some samples which have got literally no value redundant samples we are not going to use them we can actually do without them as you can see so you can actually create the signal even without those samples so when we do the over sampling or we double the nyquist rate of sampling we create we come up with samples which are not really required up students if we we do under sampling or we go below the nyquist rate as you can see it is not even possible to we don't have enough samples to recreate the exact signal students the best possible way when you are doing pcm is to follow a sampling rate which is equal to the nyquist sampling rate which is fs should at least be equal to twice the highest frequency